So welcome to session two in our art classes for Fingal. Uh, I've just shown you something I did uh, earlier. Uh, it's rocks. That's what we're going to try and concentrate on our rocks, boulders. They really are your best friend. You know, they're wonderful opportunity to have them perhaps in the foreground uh, of any painting and it really helps give perspective. So this is uh, one I prepared earlier as Monica, I think a TV chef many, many years ago. They weren't called TV chefs at the time, but her, uh, she used to lick her fingers. So this is sort of licking fingers with rocks. So uh, I'm just gonna take this away. See, can I get something going here with some uh, black and blue? Yeah, so I'm gonna set them up maybe uh, in this way here. So, so I got a little bit of black here. Uh, my next rock's gonna be a little bit further down maybe. And as you can see, I'm actually doing just the right hand side of the rocks just at the moment. So just the right hand side of the rocks. Move them down. Yeah, that's it. Don't wanna go too far. And remember too as well that rocks are they're not like bushes where you can have sort of fuzzy ends. These need to be really sort of sharp edges on them. So we'll stick another one maybe in here. Yep, okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of white, a little bit of paler blue to it as well, and just get in there. So here we go. Another little bit of white because uh, you're probably better off maybe having couple of brushes here just ready to ready to go on this and we go there again so remember to keep those really sort of sharp edges in there okay and because I want to dry off my brush use a dry brush now maybe to just sort of tease that in and soften that sort of look as we go into it now that's it there now so have a go now at the uh, the other side. Let's see, can we get some paint going here? You'd be glad to know that since I spoke to you the other day, uh, I got some paint off uh, Lucy. Lucy's my friend and neighbour, works with another class, another group I work with, and she's always uh, reliant to have a little bit of sort of paint sort of floating around. What I'm trying to do is create a situation there where we have dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light, and it's the contrast. Otherwise, you just end up with, you know, two and a half foot of, uh, two and a half foot of sort of boulder and it doesn't make any sense. Now, sometimes you can lose it and it's easy enough to just pick it back up again. So we'll just start getting some highlights in here. Back on here now because it's just important to get that. Maybe the light is shining down on this side. And they really, they work so well for so many pictures, but it's practice, practice, practice. I might get some highlights done with maybe a smaller brush. See if we can pick one up here and get some highlights in there. So. It seems a little bit sort of simple, but as I said, it, it's practice and you'll just use them again and again so much. So we might try and maybe create a little bit of a picture from here. Uh, I intend afterwards now to maybe do some trees as well, because that's another one that certainly when I started to paint first, uh, I had to go to the library out to paint trees. And I spent the whole afternoon just painting tree upon tree upon tree because I knew that's the only way it was going to sort of work for me. Uh, I've got a nice sort of pale blue coming up here. Maybe nowadays you can go to the internet and there's all sorts of videos that will sort of take you through it. But in the day, that wasn't available. You had to go off and... Uh, you had to go off and sort of go to your local library and then just spend the afternoon just sort of painting. But there's no there's no real way about it other than sort of practice, practice, practice. And I'd really advise you to maybe practice, 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 pract
practice your trees and your rocks because they'll just come in so handy. We might just get a little bit of, what do we got here now? That's it, got a nice seascape. That's something we're missing here. Over the last couple of months, haven't been to the sea. Really miss that so much. Uh, and the dogs. Oh, there we go. Maybe we'll bring some of that water down. That is coming down in and around the rocks there. Yeah, that's it. Now, these are things, it doesn't take too long to do, but I would really, really say to you, you've got to practice, practice, practice. Um, I'm going to go now for some uh, our beach. A little bit of sand, you can't beat sand coming in and around the beach. I don't know where your local beach is. Mine is Sandy Mount. I'm lucky to be living only a couple of hundred yards away from Sandy Mount, but tide's usually out. Over on the north side, you're looking at Scaries and Dolly Mount, Rush. You've got a lot more of sort of access to beach, I think. You've got to travel far. Sandy Mount is nice and all this, I love it, but it's uh, just a little bit. You've got to walk for miles. Tide always seems to be out. What about some water? Got some water maybe crashing up on the waves. Okay, I'll do that there. And we'll just bring in that, bring in those rocks down at the back there. So that's it. Painting rocks, really.